Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This video is all about starting your sweet potatoes indoors to get sweet potato slips, the green growth that you see there. And I've added a heating pad. I will talk about how that makes a huge difference, but I'm going to show you quickly how you can set up sweet potatoes just like this in a foil pan, no holes, just a seed starting mix, and grow your own sweet potato slips. I'm going to show you how to set this up and get everything growing, but let's just talk about these for a second. These are going to be your sweet potato slips. When they get to be four to six inches tall, you break them off, you put them in a glass of water, stick them by a sunny windowsill, they're going to root out, and that's going to take somewhere between two and three weeks to get a really nice root system established, and then they would go out into the ground. Sweet potato slips want to get in the ground when it's warm. Frost has to be gone, soil temperature should be, you know, 60 degrees or higher, so there's not a rush for these. However, sweet potatoes can take a long time to sprout. The trick to speed the process up is I like growing them in a seed starting mix like this and then this year I added a heat mat and it's really sped up the process tremendously. Now we'll talk about that in more in a second. So it's been four weeks. These went in the beginning of January. Today's the 27th or 28th. If your sweet potato slips on a heat mat planted this way, haven't started doing something, you want to check them out. There's probably something wrong. So I can tell that the purple stokes have all sprouted everywhere. You know, the orange ones aren't. So if I pull this up, what I'm looking for is rooting. There's no rooting. You can see the purple stokes, if you can, all the roots in there. These are just taking off. This one has some old growing. It's soft right there, soft there. I mean, this is just not going to do anything. So I'm going to take that out. Now I overplanted this area because I was experimenting. I'm going to check this one out too. Look, I mean, that's just, that's just rotted. So I, again, if it's been four weeks or so, and your sweet potatoes aren't doing anything, you need to check them because they're going to sprout pretty quickly. Let me just add some soil back to this. And we'll get to this setup. And these are going to just stay as is. Once they get to this point, you can take them off the heat mat. They've really sprouted, that's what you want. And then you can just let these go. Now you can do this using two pans. You can put some holes in here. I do one, two, three, four, five. And then you put the soil in there, sweet potatoes, and just in case you're worried that you're going to maybe make a mistake and put too much water in here, you could potentially lift this up, let it go into a fill pan. However, it's really hard to mess up your sweet potatoes by adding too much water because one way to start them is actually putting them into a cup of water. So I just say go with just a foil pan just like that. Fill it up with any starting mix. There's no fertilizer in here. The sweet potato is going to live off, while well, the sweet potato slips, the green growth, are going to live off of the sweet potato itself. You can fertilize a little bit with any water-soluble nitrogen fertilizer once they're up and growing, but it's not needed. And that's all you do to set up your planting base. I would just put in one, two, three, not five like I had. So I just went to the store. This is a purple Stokes. I have a bunch of them growing. These are purchased at an organic store. The purple Stokes that you saw growing were not. They were just, I think, purchased at Giant. So we're going to want to clean these. So that's the purple Stokes. This is just, this is called a um, Japanese purple sweet. I don't know if there's another name for it. This is organic too. This one doesn't have an orange flesh. It's a white sweet potato flesh. And this is just called a Japanese orange sweet. Don't know if they're hybrids or not. You can pick up any kind of sweet potatoes that you want. What I recommend is sterilizing them. So let's do the purple stokes, one of the Japanese orange, and one of the Japanese purple sweet. I recommend trying to get something about this size. 
These seem to work well. This is three percent. This is three percent hydrogen peroxide, and we're just pouring it on a sweet potato to sterilize it. It's not going to hurt the sweet potato. The skins are nice and tough. This will just kill off any kind of mold, fungus, fungus nut eggs, and you would just, you know, do that. Let's just sit maybe 15 minutes, mix it through again, and you're good to go. So the next step, just get these set up, is to take your sweet potatoes and you're just pushing them in so that they go halfway down. Any side works. Nice soil contact. Again, this is a starting mix. I recommend using a sterile starting mix, especially indoors. And then I'm just going to pack the soil in around them. They're going to root out and they're going to sprout. And they should do this within really two to four weeks on a heat mat. And that's pretty much the setup. That's good to go for your sweet potatoes. One slip, I'm sorry, one sweet potato is going to produce a lot of slips. Like this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least ten here. They're going to produce ten, twenty, thirty sweet potato slips. So you don't need to overdo it. Again, these are my purple stokes, and these are three different kinds of sweet potatoes. You know, a crazy thing you could even water your sweet potatoes with the 3% hydrogen peroxide because the H2O2 is going to break down and go away and it's also a way to sterilize your soil. So these are set up again two to four weeks they should sprout out the green growth put them on a heat mat let me give you a close-up of the heat mat that I'm using. Just look at that beautiful growth. The heat mat makes a huge difference and that's really, I think, what dictates whether or not your sweet potatoes germinate, well, sprout quickly, I should say. When you put them in water, put them on a windowsill, very often it's cold right there. So they may take a long time to sprout and get going. Label your, your pan and then just put them on a heat mat. Any heat mat works. This does not have a thermostat. It's just a basic $20 um, heating pad basically for seed starting. It's not a heating pad that you or I would use. Um, I believe I have links to these on my Amazon shop if you want to check the video description. But just set it up like that. When the top looks dry, add some water and just keep an eye on them. Start them on the heating pad right away. Within two weeks you should see growth. If you don't see growth within about four weeks, check out the potatoes. Make sure they didn't soften up. But this is basically how you do it. Please subscribe. I will show you how I, you know, put these in water, root them up, all that, and then I will definitely show you how I grow them outdoors, set up the soil, we'll do harvesting, all kinds of different stuff. Thanks for watching. This is, I think, the most effective way to grow sweet potato slips. I hope you give it a try. Again, thanks for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.